Hi, I'm John Baker from RotacRepair.ca. I'm here today to talk to you about internal engine corrosion on two-stroke Rotax engines. During my work as an independent Rotax maintenance tech, I dismantle a lot of engines for inspection and I find that a lot of them have otherwise usable parts in them that we have to dispose of because they're corroded. It's kind of a shame because you're spending money on replacing parts that are rusted instead of worn out. So most of them, uh, most of the two-stroke engines will fail due to corrosion before they actually would with normal wear on them. So what's the uh, existing solution to the problem? Well, in the Rotax maintenance manuals, you'll find that uh, there's a section in there labeled engine preservation. So the existing solution then is to fog the engine. So what does fogging mean? Well, fogging means that we're going to take a solution, not two-stroke oil, but a special solution of actually a solvent-based chemical, and we're going to spray it into the carburetors when the engine's idling and it's warmed up. So in other words, we've come back from our flight and we're going to put the plane away at the end of the day. Now we have to remove the air filter. We have to start the engine up. We have to stand beside the spinning propeller and spray the solution into the carburetors. A lot of danger from the propeller. A lot of pilots don't do this whole procedure and it's obvious why. I work around spinning propellers all the time and I don't like to be where the propeller spins and I'm sure you wouldn't want to do that either. So unfortunately, it just doesn't get done. The other negative of doing it that way is it's easy to introduce too much solution into the carburetors. So when you go to start your plane again, it doesn't want to start because the plugs are flooded with the solution because so much goes in. Then you have to change the spark plugs to make it start. At any rate, not a very good solution the way that I see it because nobody is doing the appropriate rust or corrosion prevention measures that they need to. So my solution is let's introduce the fogging solution from a remote location. Uh, on a Challenger, the uh, bottle would be behind the back seat. No need to take off the air filter. You just pull up when you're finished flying. Let the engine, while the engine's cooling down, just reach in behind the back seat, flip the lever on the bottle, the valve on the bottle, so that it's open, and there you go. No need to take off the air filter. No need to go near the spinning propeller danger. Uh, the bottle holds enough solution for several applications, and the other real nice um, with the part with this is that it doesn't foul up the spark plug. So when you come back to start the airplane the next time, it will restart pretty much normally. Please feel free to watch all of my videos and also particularly the ones on engine preservation. So that one day, if I'm looking at your engine, I don't have to phone you and say your otherwise good engine has rust in it. 